Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. What an insane day yesterday on the FIFA 22 market with prices crashing like crazy. Unprecedented amounts of market drop yesterday. I did not expect it whatsoever. It just seemed like people woke up yesterday and decided that they wanted to sell. With the combination of the foot captains promo upcoming and again more people talking about team of the season, thinking about what happens to the market during that time period. And I think again, like I said, it just seems like people woke up yesterday and decided that they wanted to sell. And all of those cards, a lot of cards across the whole game are down horrendous in price. So I lost some coins yesterday. I know a lot of you guys have lost some coins as well, but we have some good news on the other side. But the flip side of the of that panic yesterday is that the actual leaked team of the season date has come through. We have news on when team of the season is going to be. And it's not for a couple weeks yet. So even though we saw all the panic yesterday, a lot of it was before we had those leaked dates for team of the season, um, you know, which we will probably expect to be accurate. And now we've seen some cards actually start to rebound back a little bit, but not everything, right? There's still a lot of stuff that is low yesterday after all of the panic that happened on the market. So I want to take a look at that, show you some of the price drops and talk about is stuff going to rebound, what you can expect over these next couple of weeks since team of the season is actually going to be a bit later than we even thought it might be. Almost normal time or a little bit later than normal based off of the leaked dates for that. Also, we have a big showdown SBC. Yeah, a really big one. Could be today for a game that is coming later on this weekend. I think that's going to be a huge part of content today on Wednesday. And also, it's Wednesday, which is usually the day they upgrade headliners. And I think today we will see our first fantasy foot upgrades released on the game. So a lot of these cards have dropped off in value as well. But some of them are getting upgraded today, like this Lucas Mora getting a plus two, the Christian Erickson card that I know so many of you guys, myself included, are excited to see get the upgrade. I think these guys are getting upgraded today. So we'll talk about that and more. And the team of the week, right? Neymar is leaked to be in team of the week, but not Mbappe. So that's moving the market. We got to talk about a lot of things today on the video. So if you're excited for it, hit a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about the panic selling because that's what everybody is on about right now in this game. And you know, oh my goodness, Nate, these prices have dropped like crazy and some of them have rebounded but again it's because of that other information that we got about the actual team of the season start date that has people buying some cards back so this is how it went down yesterday on the market let me show you i'm going to use this paqueta card as a great example of what happened yesterday on the market so on monday paqueta went from like 800k down to 720 but then kind of rebounded back right we saw some panic selling on monday but stuff rebounded back into the nighttime the meta stuff that is but then yesterday on Tuesday, again, look at this panic. From 758,000 coins, Paqueta went all the way down to 640. Right around the content drop, the content drop time is when he hit his low point, and then he started rebounding back because the content yesterday was not that good, and the price drop-offs that you saw were so big, and some cards are just so popular and so meta that they're bound to rebound a little bit, right? The cards that had the most insane price drop-offs yesterday you saw them bounce back in price. They hit lows and then came back up because there was just so much panic selling for them and they're still pretty meta cards. This uh, Jelson Martins, who was just about 615K, I bought a couple of these down here at 560 because I saw his drop-off yesterday was so big that I knew, I knew that it was too much. But not all cards had that type of movement yesterday on the game. Maybe I can try to find an example of a card that is still down horrendous. How about this one? Tony Cruz foot birthday. A lot of the foot birthdays rebounded back up, but this one is, is one that is not right. He was 533,000 coins yesterday, right? He went all the way down to 463, kept dropping all day long, and is still now even lower than that at 439,000 coins. And he hasn't rebounded yet, right? A lot of cards continued to drop and some are still very, very, very low. Some of your team of the year cards dropped. Basically the whole entire market. Here's Rudiger, right? Here's a great example. Basically everywhere that you looked yesterday on the market looked like this. Boom, just a straight zip downwards from left to right on the graph. And, you know, some cards, again, like I said, bounced back a little, but even this Rudiger, if you had him at 620K yesterday, now you're looking at a card that's 570,000 coins. Um, and, you know, that's, again, like I said, it just seemed like people got on FIFA yesterday. They thought about the team of the season. They thought about the leaks they saw for the foot captain's promo. It's early April. April always means team of the season. 
So people just got excited. I don't know if there was, it, probably there was an influence of people being told to sell cards. Um, you know, that sort of stuff happens a lot too. A lot of different trading groups that are out there. There's a lot of information that is followed blindly. Um, and somebody tells them to sell a card, they sell a card and it, they don't just stop, right? When a card gets really, really low and they're like, okay, this card has dropped so much, is it, can it really go lower? They just keep undercutting and, and they, they just think, okay, I have to get out of the card, right? So that's kind of what happened on the market yesterday. That's what we, and we see this like every single time before a really big promo, team of the year, Black Friday, team of the season, we have one of these days, maybe two or three of these days, depending on the time frame too, where so many people just undercut and panic sell and it's just a huge day of panic. I remember before Black Friday this year, we had a big day like this as well. And it's just crazy, right? Now, like I said, with what is going on with the actual date for team of the season, which I want to take a look at now, the actual leaked date for team of the season is April 29th. This was retweeted by Foot Sheriff, tweeted first by Arcade Foot. April 29th is the date that we should see team of the season starting in FIFA. So if we kind of take a look at the timeline here, we're going to have two weeks of a foot captain's promo. And then one week in between the end of that and team of the season, probably for like a team of the season warm up or pre tots kind of promo like they did for team of the year. I would expect something along those lines um, or something like that. But that's kind of how the schedule should look. So, of course, as we've seen a few of these cards bounce back in price, you know, that's that's why you're seeing that, because people are like, OK, that's still three weeks away from when we're actually going to see team of the season. So that's why you see a couple of the cards bouncing back in value and you still might see a few cards bounce back i'm not in a huge hurry to sell the, the, the gelsons that i bought right i bought a few of these at 560 when he was really low i bought some nannies at 360,000 coins again the ones that i bought yesterday were the ones that dropped down really big increments percentage wise like a was 480,000 coins he went down to 360 like a percentage wise drop that's almost like over 20 percent almost for how much he dropped that is, is too much for one day for a rare card that is live and upgrading. I knew that was too much. That's the kind of thought process that I use when I'm trying to live trade with a few of these cards. Uh, but I know some of you guys were not, you know, looking for some of those things. And a part of the market yesterday was just honestly, just looking at the cards and prices in shock and watching everything drop down and be like, man, this sucks. I'm losing coins. And I totally get that. But if you didn't sell, I know some of you guys have already sold. Some of you guys have not sold. If you didn't, I think you're going to continue to see some of these cards rise back up. The meta most popular ones probably going to rise back up a little bit into the later parts of this week. Of course, depending on what sort of content EA releases, um, I think you're going to see a little bit of a bounce back because, again, people are going to go back out. And as long as the cards that we see in the Foot Captains promo, which we have a few more leaks, by the way, Hector, Muniain looks decent if they give him a, a, a skill move upgrade. Of course, we have the Ben Yedder. We have a Tyrone Mings, which could be good, but the pace split on this card is not very good. We have a Koke. So some of these cards look interesting, but it doesn't look absolutely insane. I think a lot of people are going to revert back and buy some cards from the Foot Fantasy teams, from the Foot Birthday promo teams. A lot of the stuff that was panic sold yesterday, I do think you will see some cards continue to bounce back um, just because they're going to be, people are going to buy back some cards for their teams over this next week, over into the weekend, since we now know that team of the season is, you know, a couple, a few weeks away, three weeks away almost in total. Uh, and, and that's a leak, right? That's pretty much where we expect it to be. So that's kind of a roundup of where the meta part of the market is right now, right? A ton of panic selling yesterday. If you bought any cards in those low dips, GGs, if you didn't, that's fine. Like you, you don't, don't have to feel like you missed out or anything like that. What I would say though, is watch for more. If there's more panic selling today on Wednesday, that would be another great opportunity to pick up on some out of packs cards that maybe you want to try out for your team this weekend, next weekend. Of course, be careful with the leaks that we have out there, you know, for, um, for a card, Let's see, like maybe you're trying to buy somebody for your team, but there's a leak for like striker Ben Yedder, right? Maybe you're a little bit careful with St. Maximin or some higher tier strikers on this game, French attackers, or, or maybe some of your, even some center backs. Like I'd be a little careful with John Stones because we have a Tyrone Mings coming um, and a Laporte, as you saw, that was also leaked. That big uh, showdown that could be coming today, Laporte versus Curtis Jones for the huge Huge matchup that is coming this weekend for the Premier League between Manchester City and Liverpool. You know, if Laporte's card looks really good today and it's a good price, 
that's going to hurt some other Premier League center backs. So I did I did flip a John Stones yesterday, um, but you know I, I bought this at 415, sold it at 485 with some panic selling and then the rebound. But I mean, yeah, you got to be careful with some of that stuff for the leaks too. So it's still going to be a market where you have some ups and downs over the next few days. But I just wanted to start off the video today by talking about like what is going on and why that stuff kind of happens. I mean, yes, it is crazy to see and it's like, oh my goodness, I'm losing so many coins. But this sort of stuff happens almost every time we head into a huge, huge promo because there's just so much anticipation and so much hype for that promo upcoming that it's gonna drop the market that people get that in their heads and they just undercut and they sell and they sell and they sell and it's crazy. So that's kind of what was going on with the market yesterday. Again, like I said, you're probably gonna see some cards still fluctuate in value. I know Golden Bappe um, is like back up in the 390s, I think. Yeah, high 390s, 395. He was 375 yesterday at one point during the panic selling as well. Some of these cards are going to go lower. So if you're like, Nate, is this, did I miss the buy time for like the lowest point for team of the season? Absolutely not. There's all of these cards that you saw on the market are going to go lower in my opinion. They're gonna be lower two and a half to three weeks from now once we get into that team of the season time frame. Yesterday, getting this leak, the tots is not until the end of April, really just allows people to go back out on the market. And again, like I said, buy some cards. So that's why you're seeing the movements that you're seeing right now on the market. I wanna talk about fodder for a second as well. Fodder yesterday, like we talked about, we did have the UEFA marquee matchups, but it was like a twofold situation because we had supply from UEFA marquee matchups, which some people didn't even open those packs. So there wasn't a ton of supply, but you saw a lot of the higher rateds drop down in value. But Lewandowski was like 92K. Now he's 83. Um, Tony Cruz is like 33,000 coins. Ramos was 37. Now he's 33K. So you saw some of that go down, but some of the lower tier cards maintained their price or even went up a little bit some of the lower tier fodder because we had a campaign player pick yesterday, which I think this is super duper funny. Take a look at the upvote downvote percentage on this. 14% upvote, 86% downvote. As a lot of people, like it seems like the first and second time that EA release a gamble pack like this, it's cool. People will go and try it. Okay, this is new. I want to give it a shot, you know, see what I can get. And now this is like what the third or maybe the fourth time that we've gotten this campaign bag player pick and everybody hates it. 86% downvote. I did it yesterday. I got Varane ones to watch. Big scam. But, you know, th there's that. So that, you know, kind of helped fodder out a little bit yesterday. Also with Harvey Barnes and Gutza, those really aren't that hype of SBCs. I, Gutza has a higher percentage upvote, but they're cheap, right? They're really, really cheap. So if you want to get these done, I was really hoping for a four-star skill move boost on Harvey Barnes. We didn't end up getting that. Um, so, you know, that's that. But, that's kind of what's going on with like the SBC side of the market. I'm still the fodder that I have. I'm probably going to continue. I know that I didn't sell my Ramoses yesterday for like 30, 37 K when he was all the way up there. Um, I'm probably still going to try to list my Ramos cards around like 30, 37 to 40 K and try to get some lazies because, you know, again, like I said with fodder yesterday, by the end of the week, I want to get out of this stuff. I need to be out of my 88s, my 80, 84s to 88s, I want to get out of because people are going to be opening packs this weekend. There's going to be lightning rounds that'll come out. And no matter how good the SBC content is, there's going to be some droppage in price on that stuff. Even as we go into like tomorrow and into Friday, people are going to be worried about having those cards and holding on to them because the supply is coming. So that's going to make those uh, drop down in price a little bit. Now, I did mention the showdown leak, and I want to show you guys that again for sure and just kind of show you the actual cards again so that you see this leak. Um, another showdown listed to come, and since this was just leaked yesterday and this promo ends on Thursday, I think that this is going to be the SBC today because I think this is the last day that we will see of the actual showdown um, card. Actually, that's false. We might have two showdowns today or they're going to do one today and one tomorrow. So either today or tomorrow for this showdown, Laporte and Curtis Jones. Um, are, these, are these legit stats? I don't know if these are legit stats or not. We need more. Jones needs to be club 80, in my opinion. We need to have that 80 defense uh, up in there. And I think Laporte needs to have a little bit more pace. Please, EA Sports, start off with 86. That would be great. Um, but it's, it all comes down to the price. And so far, most of these SBCs have been well-priced. White Horse for Charleston, a little bit expensive. But this will be the most hyped showdown SBC, in my opinion, out of all the ones that we have seen so far. This one's going to be the most hyped because of the just the amount of everything that 
is laying on this game for the Premier League title, for the title race between these two clubs. Um, of course, we had Champions League yesterday. We'll talk about that in a second as well. So that is a crazy piece of content. Maybe coming today, maybe coming tomorrow. Um, and then there's one other showdown we haven't seen yet between, uh, what was those guys? Serdar and uh, the center attack in mid, the Japanese guy from Union Berlin. Haraguchi, those two guys, either today or tomorrow for either of those showdowns um, in this game. So keep an eye out for that. And then also, speaking of today's content, on uh, Wednesday, Neymar is in Team of the Week. So EA is not putting Mbappe in Team of the Week, I guess. Again, EA has the power to do this. They're in control, right? So since they're not wanting to give Mbappe another special card, they're going to throw Neymar in Team of the Week. These are the official stats for a 93 Neymar, which has got all of the other Neymars getting panic sold on the market. So Neymar already has the 93 Winter Wild cards, which if you look at the stats, he's got 93 pace, 96 dribble, 87 shot, 88 pass, 66 physicality. This card right here is almost the exact same with plus one physical, but it is not central. But it's going to be way cheaper because Team of the Week cards are way cheaper in general. So we'll have to see who's in the full team of the week today, but Neymar's special cards are down bad. Uh, like this 92 in form was 600K before the weekend, and now he's 440. And the winter wild card, this is actually a crazy. With the combined panic selling from everything on the market yesterday, and for this card being a team of the week, or Neymar being a team of the week, this wild card's Neymar has gone from 2.4 million coins to 1.8 in like one weekend. Talk about insane price drop right there. That's ridiculous. But I think that Neymar's 93 rated inform is probably going to come on the market. At, oh, today, it's going to start over a million coins, but I think it's going to end up being around like probably 900K, maybe around a mil flat. Um, and maybe dropping a little bit afterwards because so many people still have the flashback Neymar. You know, I know it's not as good as these other versions, but having that card, people will just use that one instead of an, a million coin in form. And that's kind of dropping all of the Neymar cards overall throughout the market the second half of this year since that SPC came out. But that's pretty big news for today. And then again, like I said, fantasy foot upgrades. I really think this is going to be the day when EA Sports upgrade these cards. So keep an eye on the ones that you expect to be upgraded. I wouldn't say to really like look into any of these for investments today um, that are going to get upgraded. I mean, I did buy, a, I got a crazy snipe on a Lucas Mora tonight at 960. Um, so Lucas Mora has been around like 1.1 mil. And then I think with the combination of the market crashing yesterday with the right mid Mares road to the final card going down in price and Sancho, like all prem right mids are down right now at the moment. I think all those things kind of together are making this card drop. I might hold that Lucas to see if he bounces back up at all today. This Mara's post game yesterday, he's 720, 710 right now. He was down to 650 and he bounced back. So again, I'm just really excited for the fantasy foot upgrades, the plus twos that we have coming in for Eric Smith, for Erickson, Usman, and for Lucas Mora. I'll be I'll be honest with you guys right now. I do not think that this Erickson card is gonna go up to uh, like, you know, 85, 90,000 coins upon the upgrade. He might jump up in price very quickly, but I feel like the hype is dying here. So if you invested in Ericsson's, I hope that jumps free today, but I don't think it's going to be that big uh, of a price jump. He also has so much supply from that mistake that EA made. They, they put a lot of those cards on the market, I think, when that happened. So I'd be very careful with a guy like Mr. Erickson himself. But for the rest of the fantasy foots today, they're going to have that new card design too. It's going to be more of like an orangish color. I'm excited for that. I really hope that is today. I think it will uh, be today on this game as well. And then if you're looking to just trade and make coins right now in the market, I just think I don't want you guys to be scared. I don't think you have to be scared with the way the market is being run right now uh, because so many people, again, realize that their panic selling yesterday was really, I don't want to say unwarranted because, yeah, you know, this market did need a correction heading into team of the season, but I think it was too much all at one time, right? This Marquinhos I bought for 1.14, 1.15. He's all the way back up to 1.24, which is where I sold both of mine. So I just think that some of the cards that you saw panic selling on yesterday and even some of the cards that are still low right now as you're looking at prices on this game, um, like I sold my Dybala at 1.17 and he's now up to 1.19. You know, I don't think you have to be scared about buying cards and trying them for your team because, um, you know, it just seems like it was a lot of it was a lot of panic, uh, and and that panic is subsiding, and people realize that they they panic sold a little bit too early potentially, and uh, that that kind of was something that they didn't have to do. So, 
you know, that's kind of how I view the market at the moment. I don't, I don't think you have to be scared. I think people are going to try and buy cards once they, a lot of people know that team of the season is now not for a couple weeks. So that's going to make them want to go back out and try cards as well. Um, so if you bought some cards yesterday, GG's, if you got some good flips in, obviously well reading of the market, good stuff. Um, for that. Oh, last thing, some road to the finals since we had, and actually I'm really curious to see how EA do this. Um, since we had two teams win yesterday, Kyle Walker, um, Mares, Tiago, and Mane have only gotten plus one so far. I know Kyle Walker and Tiago haven't gotten any upgrades because they're in the, a part of the mini release, but neither Liverpool or Manchester City players had gotten upgraded for their first knockout win after the promo release. City and Liverpool both won, but it was before the promo cards were released with the first set of Road to the Finals. So I think that Kyle Walker, all four cards I just mentioned right there, I think they're getting upgrades this Friday. I know it sounds really weird. So unless EA forget about it, because they upgraded Papu Gomez after Sevilla lost to West, or Sevilla beat West Ham, but then did not advance on. Um, I honestly think that we are gonna see upgrades to all of those four cards that I just mentioned on this game this weekend. So I, I did buy some more Kyle Walkers because after the game, I was selling Kyle Walkers for 470 right when City scored, when De Bruyne scored that goal. Um, I was listing up Kyle Walkers for, yeah, 463, 470, and I sold three of them. Now, I still had some other ones that I bought at 400K, and then last night after the game, once again, I went out and I picked up like four or five more Kyle Walkers, at like 400, 400,000 coins flat, somewhere in there, um, because it's just a really rare card with all of the, you know, we have a Laporte, we've got a Curtis Jones that is coming up. We have that Tyrone Mings that's leaked as a part of the foot captains team. There's Unless there's going to be another Prem right back, I think that, that Kyle Walker card is going to do pretty well, especially if he does get an upgrade later on this week. So that's why I'm keeping an eye on him. That's why I picked up a Tiago here at like 450, 460. I missed that one on bid, pain, but it is what it is. These cards are rare and they're going to fluctuate. So watch out for the... Um, the, the Lucas Hernandez would be one card that I would watch out for today because he, of course, Byron's playing. So keep an eye out for that one. But it's going to be another interesting day on FIFA. I know yesterday was crazy. And again, if you've lost coins, I'm right there with you, right? I had Van Persie's that I bought for uh, 830, 840,000 coins, right? And I had to sell those, sell those off and, and take some L's. And it is what it is. But we, we move, we live, um, and we're going to make some coins in this next week. Uh, he's still, yeah, he's still really, really low. So we're, we're still going to make coins as this market is going to be active over these next two weeks during foot captains. It's going to be a great time uh, to make investments, to make buys, to make trades and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, what, what you learned from yesterday, take what you learned and what you saw in the market and store that because you're going to see more opportunities for panic selling and more ways to trade on the market like we saw yesterday and timing those buys. You're going to have more opportunities in the next two weeks as we get closer to the actual date for team of the season, since that is actually leaked. So I know it's a lot to talk about, a lot to cover, a lot to get, discuss, but if you did enjoy the video today, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you get if, if you have any questions. Um, and of course, subscribe if you are new. Name our team of the week. I hope if you're opening red team of the week picks, uh, not red picks, but a team of the week pack today that you get Neymar, all right? That's my blessing to you. All right, boys, have a good Wednesday. It's been Native Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.